welcome to Ukraine Today. I'm Volin Rosolohub. We're currently at Odessa Security Forum. And right now to talk about information security, joining me now is the Ambassador of Spain to, Spain to Ukraine, His Excellency, Mr. Gerardo Bagayo Otone. Mr. Ambassador, welcome to Ukraine Today. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. So, Mr. Ambassador, um, the um, information security is a vital part of um, the, the, the national security of, of any country. And uh, Ukraine, um, unlike any other countries, has, have experienced this firsthand, the, the information attack, the information war which Russia has staged against Ukraine has been tremendous in the past two and a half years. So, in your opinion, what are the main countermeasures which Ukraine can take in order to protect itself against this horrific information campaign? Well, as you said, uh, I mean, one thing is what Ukraine can do, and you are doing it, for instance, through this television channel. But frankly, I don't think it's the responsibility of Ukraine. I think this is a much, much bigger war, much, much bigger confrontation. And it belongs to all of us to provide an answer. I think that we are witnessing something that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are in the middle of a battle of perceptions. Everything that is important for the future depends on the perception. For instance, if you look at maintaining or not maintaining the sanctions against Russia, it will depend on the perception of the conflict by our populations, our leaders, obviously, and so on and so forth. If you think what is the real perspective of, of Ukraine in Europe, when and where and how to, it's again, it's going to depend on the perception of our population and the, and the Ukrainian population and so on and so forth. Going to the particular problem we are facing here is basically the Russian propaganda. We have to take into consideration two things. One, I think the main goal of the Russian propaganda is not to, for people to believe everything they say, but to create confusion. That is very easy. It's very easy to, to create confusion. And it's very difficult to fight confusion. Because if you add... We have so many news already that you, have, you add more, just more news, people would not, would not, wouldn't know how to choose which is the good or the bad source for their news. Another very important, probably the most successful success story of the Russian propaganda is to make everybody perceive Russia as something much bigger and much stronger than it is. I keep reminding people that the GDP of Russia, when the Russian economy was booming, was the size of Italy. Now it's smaller than the size of Spain, and you know the huge economic difficulties that Russia is facing. In this situation, it makes no sense at all for Russia to embark upon fights, wars against neighbors, against Ukraine, creating conflict, confl conflicts all around its border, but it would make sense to create areas of common prosperity. So it doesn't make sense. but. In order to achieve that, you have to be perceived as a real menace and something very, very, very. So do you think with a GDP of that size, you could embark your country with the huge difficulties you have inside your country in, in, in adventure like that? Well, apparently you can because this is happening. Mr. Mr. If, if you allow me, uh, please. Um, the, earlier during our earlier today, you uh, voiced a very interesting uh, thought that uh, perhaps the, the Western countries should uh, seek some help in uh, fighting the Russian propaganda from Hollywood, perhaps. And you mentioned the, the example of um, the, the World War II, that following the World War II, some of the, the, the movies which were produced in Hollywood, they, they helped immensely. Can you elaborate more on that? Absolutely. I was going to tell you that, as a matter of fact. That's why I, I meant that it's not a responsibility of Ukraine, but of all of us. And among us, probably, the United States, because it's a great producer of, of, of this kind of fantastic uh, material, because, as I was saying before, we don't have to add more news. We have to change the narrative. And through that, we have to go to the noblest idea of propaganda. Propaganda comes from propagate, to propagate your values. How do you do that? You have to reach the popular culture. You have to reach the masses. You, don't have, you cannot work just with think tanks or, or, or small, small communities. In order to reach the big audiences, this popular culture, the most effective elements are cinema and television, because are, those are the ones that create stereotypes and icons. They did, as you pointed very correctly, in the Second World War. You could, in that war, you could destroy the army of the enemy if you have firepower enough, but still, huge propaganda effort was done. Masterpieces like propaganda, like Casablanca was, were done, that are effective piece of propaganda 70 years later. But not only that, many other films were done with a 
two, two, uh, two prong approach. One is to reach the enemy, the ranks of the enemy, and another, or even more important, to reach your own people. So Hollywood could be doing now, not only movies, but for instance, the, this fantastic HBO or, or Netflix, other companies that create series that really chisel, create the, the imagery on the icons and, and the standards that people live after. It is true. Is it, in your opinion, is it up to Ukraine or any other government to reach out to, to Hollywood and say, why not you do that? Or just wait until the idea comes to their mind? I think we have to do what we are trying to do here, myself. We all have to start talking about this and realizing that if we lose this war, it's because we are not fighting it. Nobody is fighting a pro an active propaganda war on, the, on our side. Nobody. You, you just start thinking who could be the person or the institution that is in charge of the active Western propaganda machinery. It doesn't exist. In your opinion, is that the main reason why the West is losing the propaganda war against Russia? Well, I, I wouldn't say we are losing because we are, I think we are winning. In spite of everything, we are winning because we are right. And it's so obvious that we are right. The, 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 the message is so obvious that there is, for, for instance, for Ukraine, there is no exit to the, to the East. There is only one exit that is to a common and decent way of doing things through rule of law, etc. That the message is impossible to stop. But we can lose a lot of time and, a lot, and do a lot of damage, but not being much more active in promoting what do we really stand for? And if we do it actively, it is useful only not, not only against, not, I wouldn't say Russia, not only against what Putin represents in Russia, but it's, it's useful even against Daesh. Any, any of our enemies have to be convinced, not the enemies properly, but people that support our enemies, have, have, have to be convinced of what, do we, what are our values or what, uh, what we stand for. And it's very simple to do it if we start making the effort and using the intelligent ways of reaching people. Obviously, the problem is that we have when we start uh, talking about propaganda, many people think of something evil, clumsy, stupid, uh, in terms of, the, for instance, of the old Soviet propaganda. The Russians have refined that a little bit, but we, have, we could do it much, much better. The problem is that n nobody is responsible for that. We have not even started to think of promoting act actively through engaging the people that are great creators of images and narratives in this effort as it was done in the Second World War. It's amazing. Not only uh, in 1942, the American government sent uh, a manual to Hollywood, but Hollywood already started doing things. No? Casablanca is not only the, the more than 500 films were done, always promoting this idea why, why we're fighting and against what. Yeah, some interesting and creative thoughts here, Mr. Ambassador. Many thanks for finding the time to talk to us and share your thoughts. We were talking about information security and fighting propaganda against Russia with the uh, ambassador of Spain to Ukraine, Mr. Gerardo Bugayotone. I'm Vladimir Solohub. Thank you for watching Ukraine Today.